So you want to be happy. You're looking for ways to guarantee happiness. Not going to happen. But some ways are doing without things in your life. Ah, lovely to be up here in the Great Wide Open. Wasn't there a song? Into the Great White the North. The Great Wide Open. Was it Tom? Uh, Petty? I don't know you. Tom Petty and the Heartbreak. Yeah, your your catalog, your mental catalog of which was the one you said? Classic. You said, uh, Take off to the Great White North. Oh, yeah. That was uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie. That's for our 80s friends. Take off to the Great White North. Oh, but it had Getty Lee in it. Probably, although he's a full two octaves higher than that. From Rush. He is indeed. Yeah. Yeah, a high A. Or something. Some kind of A. <laughs> he's a 70-year-old A at this point. He's, yeah. He, a little he's, saggy. He's hitting some big A's on the upper you know whatever keys of that upper keyboard. range yeah uh so we're up here uh up in the middle of almost nowhere not really though this is just a beautiful drive up in the uh, very southern part of the salt lake valley in utah uh in a town called draper but as you can see stretched out kind of to the north of us is really the whole of the salt lake valley and way way up there near the top yeah is the city of salt lake uh with the temple temple square all the malls and the downtown area but uh, the, the whole idea of how to be happy, one great way is to just unplug. Every day, you've got to take a break from the devices, the gadgets, the yep. digital world of electronica. Well, not electronica. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, of, uh, of dance music, <laughs> hip hop, uh, house, yeah. uh, everything. And just and get away. Let's just, let's just sit quietly for a second. Peaceful sounds of construction. Yeah, work. you hear the peaceful sounds of uh, of a bulldozer backing up. Yeah, it's just nothing beats that. And birds twerking, tw uh -huh. twerking, tw <laughs> tweeting. <laughs> birds twerking. <laughs> they got the twerking birds. Um, but but just getting up, getting away. Now, obviously, if you can physically manage the time um, and the effort to you know get up, take a hike each day, walk around your block, get up and get out. We talk about that a lot. Yeah. That would be great. But what are the distractions? Yes. What, what's distracting you from doing stuff like this? And a lot of times for me, it points back to the electronic stuff. That's one reason why I personally, this might not be for you, is I don't have any social media on my phone. So That's you have no social media apps no, on your phone at all? None, none. But you, 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 you do follow, I, you do I look do. at Facebook yep, and things, I, but I just not on your phone? Not Just not on my phone. You know, it's I'm not a huge social media guy, and, and I'm not knocking it if you've got it on your phone, but it's helped me tremendously to just get a little bit more control of my time and the uh, ability to unplug. So I don't know if that works No, that's you, a good or... one. I, I haven't done it. I do have some of the apps on my phone. I don't go crazy with them, but I do find that I, I do check them now and then. And I use them especially for work because I work a little bit in social media with some of the jobs that I do. Um, not only as a, a, we're both public speakers and trainers. Sometimes you have clients who say, you know, if you come speak to our group in Houston in May or whatever, will you give us your Twitter account and your yeah. blah, blah, blah handle yeah. and da, 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 da. And will you post some, or will, you know, onto our feed some posts about the upcoming conference, mm -hmm. looking forward to it, take some pictures. All of those are really handy tools, but but yeah. I love the the kind of the the social media fast, mm -hmm. you know, where you just say I'm not going to have it on my phone, or, you know, I'm only going to be on it three days a week, yeah. or I'm going to take the weekend off. Some people that have written into us have said, you know, once it's five o'clock Friday, I use social media for work and for other interests, but I. On the weekends, I will just turn it off and yeah. just leave it all aside. And that begs the question, you know, it's it's sometimes easier to control ourselves, but what about my kids? My kids are the biggest problem. I don't know how to do it. So what we do is we actually have a timer for our little seven-year-old daughter. We give her an hour a day during the week, and then on weekends we give her now, two Now, what hours. do you, but of what? Because she's not on social okay. media. Yeah, certainly. no, 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 no. So uh, she loves to watch, uh, it, it's it's kind of stupid, but she'll watch... Well, things like Octonauts and little cartoons on her tablet and Barbies, but she also loves to watch people playing video games. You know? Oh, she's into that. She's into Isn't that. Isn't that funny, that she'll generation? Watch, yeah, she'll yeah. watch somebody playing Mario. That's her big thing now. As opposed Mario. to actually playing it. Yes. See, now I would yeah. include all of that anyway in this whole category we're talking about. So, yeah. gaming, yeah. watching movies, binging, yeah. things like that are all sort of part of this getting unplugged. Yeah, so have a timer or something. The other thing is, well, what do you do in the off times? 
we have helped our daughter to see how fun it is to play games. You know, Monopoly, Pictionary. Uh, there's a great German. We call game. those analog games. Yeah, right? analog right? games. You're sitting, sitting down and yeah. actually kind of face to face. You want to get a great game from Germany? Get Menschag Adischnisch. How many people are asking that question? Yeah. Where do I get a great game from Germany? <laughs> What's it called? Menschag Adischnisch, I think. He's I, married to a German. I just call it Menschag Adischnisch, but my wife laughs, laughs every time I say it that way. So, but yeah, start. Get back to the good old analog stuff. You know, it's Yahtzee, so true. Uh, Uno, we play Rummy kind of Cube. We, I, yeah. There's so many Rummy based games, and there's board games, there's card games, there's all kinds of Rummy type. You know, you, you got to have a run or yeah. the same set. And you can pick up the instructions so quickly because they're all Rummy based. But they're all really fun because they involve a little bit of skill and a lot of luck. Yeah. You know, where so it's not so competitive and almost anyone can win based on the draw of the next yeah. tile. Yeah or fuzzy, mm -hmm. or card, or picture, or something, or, shizzy. or whatever. Yeah. So have some fun like that. It's being unplugged. Mm -hmm. My wife and I will play Rummy Cube usually on Sundays. We keep a running total up on a board of scores so that after a while, you know, it's 742 to 685 or whatever after, you know, a few months of playing Rummy Cube. That's a fun game. Rummy Cub. Yeah. Is, uh, well, you know, is what it looks other, like. Uh, the other thing that we're careful to make sure that our daughter doesn't get in the habit of doing is taking the tablet into her room all by herself. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden just disappearing, and an hour later we're like, where's, where's Sydney at? You know? And she's been in her room for an hour watching whatever. So we try to make sure that all... Uh, you know, screens are in a public area of our house. So that we've, we've got one television. We don't even have cable. All we do is we do Netflix or Hulu. Yeah. That way we've got great control Well, over that's it, right? not so special. Almost everybody does that yeah. these days. I yeah. mean, that is kind of the, the new generation's TV. But you're mm -hmm. right. It, at least you can control it. Yeah. You can weed through the junk. Yeah. And plus you can control the time that you spend because you go, well, this episode is 42 minutes. So we're going to watch one yeah. and then we're done yep. sort of a thing. Yep. You know, on vacation, the kids love to have their video games and their little players with them. You know, we try to make sure that while it's okay if we've got a long drive to do it for a while, yeah. it's time to shut it off mm -hmm. because we want you to look out the window and see America. Yeah. We want you to know what it feels like to have to learn patience uh -huh. and to be able to put up with a long drive. This is going to give you some character. Read a book. Is, read a book, read a book yeah. for heaven's sakes. Talk, sing, play a word game yeah. while you're driving. We play you Password. Are, uh, I spy. We know, play 20 Questions. Yeah. We play a game called Ghost, which is a spelling game while we're driving, so that it keeps their minds engaged and our minds are engaged. Yeah. All right, to wrap things up here, again, how to be happy, unplug, baby, regular and often. But what are your top three distractions okay, so, uh, electronic uh, from the digital world distractions n number three on my list are passwords it's a time waster for me now wow. I, we hear about passwords. we hear about people you know you'll read articles say you know it's good to, to switch your passwords up about every three maybe six months so I used to try to do that every three months and I'm telling you I first of all couldn't believe how many passwords for all the different stuff that I've got. So I got a so that's an inadvertent manager. password. That's yeah. an inadvertent time waster for oh, you, right? I mean, that's yeah. not like your choice. That's yeah. just that bugs you about oh, the internet yeah. age. Because I I do have to change my password. I try to change my passwords on everything every six months. But I'm telling you, I have to budget pretty much a day. You know, there are people who have who have a, a a way of doing that where. They don't ever really have to change them, and they never have to save them because they have a little like mental algorithm or whatever, yeah. where they go depending on the site or the account. I have this trick that I use for that bank account or for mm -hmm. this website, and I know that it's the first three letters of blah blah blah. Then it's the second three da da da, da yeah. and it's this number. Yeah. It's a different password. It's unique for everything they go on, yeah. but they've got it in their head. That's what I love about Maybe the a facial way recognition on the new iPhone. That's kind of cool, too, oh, you just yeah. to do that. All right, yeah, number no, three. Number three time waster for me is, sadly, YouTube. So ironically, here we are on YouTube asking you to watch more YouTube, and at the same time I'm saying, turn off the YouTube. It's just so easy to pop in a search term for something. That, and normally for me it's to get me laughing because I love to laugh. It makes me happy and I'll put in something, some, some sort of comedy-based search, and then I could sit there, before I know it, an hour has gone by, and I'm at work, yeah. you know, trying to write <laughs> something, and I've just watched, you know, 19 sketches from Saturday Night Live yeah. or whatever. Yeah. All right, number two for you. So number two uh, for me is email. 
um, and oh. email, you know, mm. sometimes it just starts to stack up. And, and I don't have a lot of email. I hear some people, they've got like 422 messages in their mail. I'm nothing like that at all. But when I start to get backlogged by 30 or 35 email in my Gmail account, I'm like, okay, yeah. now I, I got to take a couple hours. Because yeah. I save a lot of stuff that I want to read. I just thought I can't do it at that point. So I have to stay on top of that or else wow. it turns into a huge time waste. So your time wasters so far are sort of inadvertent yeah. cause and effect. Yeah. You know, where mine are like my specific, these are my hangups that make me, that I waste time on. Number two, I would definitely put Facebook on there. It's a time waster um, because it's a little bit addictive. And uh, for the most part, I'll spend time just kind of looking to see what my friends are doing or other people. But uh, it can become quickly just a quick... You know, there's so many things that you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And before you know it, 10 or 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes have passed and you go, yeah. good heavens, I could have written a book get by then. Number one for you. Number one for me is actually a good thing. It's a good example of something that can be good, but it can also turn into a time waster. And it's crossword puzzles. Uh, I love online Since crossword puzzles. When did you puzzles. start doing crosswords? I've been no, doing them for actually decades. Actually, just over the past uh, couple years, I think. Wow, I really look got at into that. It. So, New York Times, you know, and I... So, it's good. I'm learning and expanding. It is good. It's great for your gosh, brain. If, yeah. I, if I'm doing that, you know, instead of your, reading your and list all this sucks. Stuff. You, your your list. You, <laughs> you're like a Saint Jeff over here. All these things that are like not really bad. Not your fault. My number one, because <laughs> for me a crossword would be like a virtue. Like I love the crosswords. My number one is uh, Sling TV, uh, oh, sports. Yeah. Just yeah. for the sports. It's a la carte TV. I got Sling TV so I could watch my sports on my laptop, on my phone, at home on my TV. It is by far my number one waste, a time waster. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to admit that I'm not, it's not like all the time round the clock. Yeah, you got to have a little balance no, those thrown in there. But I could be way more balanced. I mean, but I, I've, I've picked up since I've really, really love televised sports. There's sports that I never really cared about that I'll watch just because... It's on like Australian rules football. Oh. You know, it's just so much fun. So fun to watch. But it's not like I, ha yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, or anything like I've watched ping pong tournaments. I've seen, you know, the national cheerleading finals. I mean, I, it's not a sickness, but it's certainly a time waster I have to be careful of. It's so those are our top three, top six, really, when you add yeah. them all together. You want to be happy? Unplug a little. Unplug. Unplug and just get up and get out, breathe the air, hike. Get away from things a little bit, and we promise you, you'll be a lot happier. So what do you think? What do you do to unplug? Do you listen to Clapton Unplugged on the MTV circuit or That's whatever? That's still plugged, though. Is he really? Well, it's because yeah. you're still electronic. You're That's still watching true. it somewhere. It's up there with his guitar. We're saying get away from your screens, ah, you know. Ah, okay. Now so I what do you do to get away from your screens? Yeah, comment. Tell us what works for you. Love to hear from you. Like us or not, but like us. <laughs>